Hi folks, Instructional Coordinator Adrienne at Coronado Historic Site. I'm outside filming by myself today, so I'm going to go ahead and take off my mask. Hi, I'm Adrienne Boggs, Instructional Coordinator at Coronado Historic Site in Bernalillo, New Mexico. As part of our ongoing series highlighting the native plants of Coronado Historic Site and the Rio Grande Valley, today I'm going to introduce you to a new plant. The South Thistle Desert Dandelion is native to much of the Western United States, where it grows in sandy woodland and plateau habitats and along the edges of the deserts. This annual is a member of the Aster family, and its scientific name is Malacothrix suncoides. The genus name, Malacothrix, is from the Greek malakos, meaning soft, and thrix, meaning hair, referring to the soft hairs of the pappus, which is the hair-like structures at the top of the seeds, and the wooliness of the young plant. The name south thistle refers to the fact that pigs are especially fond of the leaves and stems. So are rabbits. South thistles exude a milky latex when any part of the plant is cut or damaged, and it is from this fact that the plants obtained the common name south thistle, as they were fed to lactating sows in the belief that milk production would increase. The first specimen of this plant was collected for science on the plains of the Platte River by Thomas Nuttall on his 1834 to 1837 western trip with the Wyeth expedition. The young leaves can be eaten as a salad green or cooked and used like spinach. Blanching removes a slightly bitter taste. Medicinal uses are the same as for dandelions. In the past, dandelion roots and leaves were used to treat liver problems. Indigenous North Americans also boiled dandelions in water and took it to treat kidney disease, swelling, skin problems, heartburn, and upset stomach. So there you go, folks. South Thistle Desert Dandelion, native plant at Coronado Historic Site in the Rio Grande Valley. Thanks so much for watching.